Hey guys, welcome to a Warcraft 3 4 vs 4 random team game. Playing on Deadlock here is the orange undead. Where shall I mm. find spirit cannot summon? Yes, we can go graveyard. Stick it all the way over here. Let's get a little bit risque. Thank you very much. But I'm not actually going to go fiends this game. So we're going to lose most likely. But um, yeah, I'm going to be going Crypt Lord this game. Which is why I got the graveyard first. To get some beetles. And the gra um, the crypt is obviously for the hero himself. And then uh, Sigurat after that. Just so I can actually build anything. Would be a good way to build, I think. Uh, let's get that cigarette out now if we can, lads. Thank you very much. Right then. Sanex Sanex says, Hey Willy, I have a strat for you. Go undead, Crypt Lord with Scarabs and Ghouls and make a fast expansion. Then Beastmaster and Fire Lord for more invocations. And finally, a good Mass Worms imbalance. So that sounds good to me. So let's see. Altar is on its way. Crypt is going up. We could sort of get the Tomb of Relics here. Yes, yeah, somewhat as a passive-ish blocker. Make it look like this part of the section of the base is kind of inaccessible. Really, it, it's quite easy to get through. But it's also a good space for allies to teleport in and then push outwards. If we've got this sort of like lined up. I could get two cigarettes here. So looking okay here for this part. And wood is not going to be a problem with a graveyard all the way over here. Just waiting on that cigarette. There we go. Get ourselves access to another cigarette because those ghouls are going to be built. And then we're going to want the resources for an expansion. So the question is where do I take it? Maybe underneath here and screw that orc guy. Although this is kind of my natural expansion to be fair. So it depends where Blue's going to take it. His natural expansion is kind of there. I might go for this one then. Because I don't think he's going to go for an expansion. I don't see him doing it. Oh, Red's AFK. Well, that's a bit rush. <laughs> that was a bit rough. We can at least get a practice run of this, I suppose, can't we? With the ghouls, how many ghouls I want before I want to get the tech and the expansion. So, four ghouls is doing well enough, I would say, but... Keep getting the acolytes out at this point. Three more. Rod of Necromancy, come over here. Get your beetles. Have them chugging up. Ghouls are bringing in the wood for the meantime. So you almost want to start building the acolytes. Maybe go for free ghouls. Get the acolytes out so then I can tech. Because the acolytes have already been built. And the Crypt Lord's doing what he wants to do over here. Yeah, they look pretty dead to be honest. I'm just going to practice the build for this then. So this is like a little practice. Keep going. Two more acolytes. Can easily afford another ghoul at this point. Cigarette is up, so you can get three more ghouls. Right, there's that. I can get that. Skeletons, that's more than enough. I could possibly do it without many ghouls at all. But I'll take a few. We'll go clear the expansion, because it's night time as well, so that's even easier. And then straight tech. So that could have been done earlier. Keep an eye on the ghouls. Should have the resources as well, of course, for the uh, expansion. Make sure the ghouls aren't taking too much damage. The rest can take damage, though. The rest of this is easy enough. The well overwhelming amount of summons is pretty strong. So we're securing that. And then we can go back to ghouls for now, because we're kind of building up towards frostworms, really. So ghouls are just a uh, make-do for now. I mean, I could go into fiends as well, but I don't particularly want to be that guy that goes and gets fiends. Plus, we're going to be getting heroes as well, so it's like 1,000 gold for the heroes as soon as they come up. The bonus heroes. Let's go a little tanky on this. Let's find out if your might cannot be matched by some AFK people. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Way to brag against a bunch of AFK players. So the ghouls are coming. Yeah, so I think three ghouls then start building your acolytes kind of early. And this is presuming that you're not going to get screwed over by some Blade Master harassing your base or something like that. You can get away with just straight up Tekken. Yeah, 
Yep, that's what I was worried about. Sent at least one over. Go for the main then. I suppose you could be upgrading Frostworms, so it's going to be a long time before they benefit from it. I think they got pushed back in their attack. This guy's definitely down there. So, the tech is about to go through. Do I need any more ghouls? How many ghouls have I got out of this? Get to the graveyard. I've got four ghouls in base, just chopping away at the trees. As you do. So we're going to straight tech again. Beastmaster will come out second. So that'll be done. Yeah. Oh, if Red left and he was the AFK one, that's not so bad. That means they've got a player that just doesn't want to leave. So we all gonna need to attack that player. So you get yourself that for the frost worms. That covers you as well for that. Resources gone. Look, what the hell is that all about? And there's the Chi Chi. Frost worms are gonna be 385 gold a pop. Four ghouls on wood should be more than enough for the long game. So I think that that should be the build, roughly speaking. But it obviously depends on how heavily the enemy attack us and all that kind of stuff as well. Well, there it is. Here we are again. Oh, a couple of night elves on their side. See how that fares. If they get mass hippos, we might be in a bit of a pickle. But an expansion should be easy enough in this map. So it's three ghouls, remember? And we want to bring in that wood as much as possible. Five acolytes on the gold mine, obviously speaking. If you went with four acolytes, this would be quite difficult indeed. So purple's over there. I got 100 gold from purple. Didn't he say he wanted to take an expansion? How's he going to manage that? Giving out all that gold. Everything is built for me, except for the shop now at this stage. Tau OD. Does that mean too undid? I think. Hence why he's splashing all of his cash and he's not happy about it. Or at least he's being a little bit revengeful? Revengeful? Resentment. That's it. He's resenting it. Somewhat. Too. Three question marks is always the, you know, the minimum amount of question marks you ever want to put when you're writing a question down for anyone to read. Always use three question marks minimum. That makes you look very legit. Okay. You gonna go over there? Then gonna chop this tree. Need to stay as close to that as possible. So the second goal's coming out. We can probably start working on getting the acolyte now. Then theoretically, although hang on a second, I want to get that second cigarette. Make sure that's. Wait. Oh. What happened to my two of relics? I think I went to cancel the acolyte, but I was targeting the tomb of relics. Ha! Huh. I rarely ever do that, so that really threw me off when that happened. I'm okay with that because it's just such a weird occurrence, and this isn't going to hurt me too much. Yeah, that's, that has thrown me off. I must admit, I'll, I'd have to watch the replay back to see exactly what I did there. This is really shitty that he's disconnecting. Okay, good, he's not. That was... I know I wanted to cancel the Acolyte, but I must have been still targeting the Tomb of Relics, and I'd never quite successfully clicked on the Necropolis. Huh. Okay, well anyway, three ghouls are on the wood. Theoretically, this should work out. I did get hurt a little bit by losing the resources, but... As long as the Acolytes come out and I can get the tech relatively around the same time... And the crypt just goes over. The Tomb of Relics is still going to finish in time. It's not really a super rush for him. So I only lost a tiny amount of resources. Acolytes. The fourth one needs to go up. Almost need to cancel a ghoul. I don't know. Was that necessary? By the time that goes up, I could have probably still built a ghoul within that time. So I suppose it wasn't that necessary. I was just trying to min-max it a little bit. But he's going to come out. So maybe I could get away with that movement. Let's find out. Was that perfect? Kind of was. 
because he comes over here, gets the rod. But to be fair, you could just get the ghoul anyway and then not worry about the rod for the moment. Not exactly the biggest problem in the world. Right, off we go. I suppose I keep getting cool. Actually, no, I don't need to. I could just go into Shredder. Because I can go creep that after. Still need resources spare, don't we? For the expansion. So the wood should come in from a couple of ghouls. Or is it just one ghoul at base? Okay, that's a bit rough. Let's pull you in. Send the ghoul back. Send two ghouls back, maybe, just to make sure I've got enough wood after we finish creeping this. No corpses to be had. Right, that ghoul's done a fairly good job. Get back to base, bring in some wood. I'm being stubborn here, not building any ghouls, because I'm trying to hold on, hold on to as much gold as possible, theoretically, for the frostworms. So I'm seeing how that works out, whether it's worthwhile, but I am going to get the shredder anyway for the wood. So I don't need to send ghouls back too much. Our town is under attack. Oh, that's interesting. Well, that's harsh, but not much I can do there. I don't even want to pull my acolytes off, basically because he's just going to catch them anyway. And I'm going to get gold over here. That does stop me from getting the shredder though, which is the nuisance. So now I'm going to have to build ghouls. Yeah, he's already got the shredder. So that's that's hurt my build. If I could get away the shredder, it doesn't hurt anywhere near as much. But because he did that, yeah, that does hurt. Tech's almost done anyway, so it's not worth me rushing, rushing or panicking or anything like that. It just isn't worth it. Get a straight tech again as soon as the wood comes in. So get on the wood, lads. You are my new army. You're going to come over there. Because we kind of want to get to Frostworms ASAP. We are getting the Beastmaster as well. That does cost me wood. But I suppose I could go and get it. Right, go get the Beastmaster now. Get the Beastmaster maybe after the tech. Get the tech going. We'll just start creeping this with these little fuckers. Actually, no. That's bad. Use... The Crypt Lord to creep there. I've got five ghouls and wood. That'll be enough. I just won't get a shredder, basically. That Keeper of the Grove might come back, but whatever. I want to get my Beastmaster now. We demand additional lumber. That's correct. You will get your additional lumber right now. There it is. There's the Keeper of the Grove. I told you, you can read it like a book. Put the acolyte there to block him from getting out. So you take a few losses, whatever. Oh, he cancelled it! Whoops! Whoops a daisy. Alright, that's brilliant. Nice one. Again, I'm still getting shit tons of gold from this. Like I said, in the last game, you don't know what's going to happen. You might get someone harass you and all that kind of... So in a perfect ideal world, I would have had no harassment right now. And this build would be almost flawless. But it doesn't quite work that way. I suppose I should have filled up the acolytes there when I... Oh, he's dicking around so heavily. Yeah, I should have finished building the acolytes, but... Whatever, the tech's almost done. The ghouls are still bringing in the woods. We're still making progress bit by bit. All I need to do is just... Play my part, really. Which is uh, fill up the... Ex Acolytes, the gold mine, the wood still coming in, thanks to Captain No Shredders. Expansion's still alive, so still doing fine. Try and find something to creep would be nice. Get that. Yep, sacrificial pit, so I could probably get two frostworm yards. So even with the minus acolytes and stuff like that, I'm still pulling in enough gold. 
Is he waiting for my orb of corruption? Right, you come over there, get my third hero. You guys do what you do over there, so it's two frost worm yards. That pink guy's probably fast taken to shims or something, so again, frost worms gonna have to get a lot of them. Because if he gets mass hippos, I'm in big trouble. I'm gonna steal some experience here. I'm sure he's gonna like it. Orb of Corruption will be nice on him. Double Frost Yard will do fine. 7-7, seven, seven, I can afford it. I don't have to get any more cigarettes right now. Actually, thinking about it. Yeah, I think I've got enough resources for it perfectly. But I still end up getting um, cigarettes anyway. Orb of Corruption is still there, that's nice. There he is, he's back, as you might expect him to be. He's just going to keep doing that. Frostworm time. I wonder what happened to all my hotkeys. One, two, three. Ah. Four. Yep. Now we go into the second cigarette. Well, two more cigarettes, really. I could put them at the expansion, but I don't know. If I lose it at the expansion, then there's no more frost worms past that point. Right, let's start getting freezing breath whilst I can, and I'm waiting. And also the researchers. The gold's starting to flow now. Spare Acolyte, because why the hell not, I suppose. Getting that more or less for food as well. Yeah. You can come back, actually, and be a shade. want to save some mana now for the level 2 carrion beetles. Okay, wait for that to finish and then we go double frostworm again. Might be able to step it up to free frost yards. That could be awesome. Beetle juice. It's happening. Looks like they're in the middle then. That might be a slight giveaway. <laughs> he's already got shade as well. I wonder if he's going frost. Yeah, he's not quite got there yet. Right, now it's double frost worms. Yeah, he is going heavy on the hippos. They're clearly going over this way. Back, 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 though. I'm not sure if we can take this or not. Yeah, it looks like we're just about okay. Good to stay in a fight if you can. Didn't know for sure if we could. Did they actually not creep this? Oh, wow. That's pretty cool for us. Two more frost worms? I think so. Keep the upgrade. So it looks like three frost yards would be a bit much. Because right now I still can't afford that, really. That all the corruption is going to help out a lot first as these dragons, because right now those poor archers don't stand too much chance. We ain't got that much anti air. We really don't. Frost worms can't hit them. 
two more cigarettes to push forward towards the 100 food mark. Oh, this is taking a while. Get in there, pick up that item, which is actually kind of good because I don't actually have a death knight. Wow, we've got like no anti-air here. And that guy just got back, so that's, yeah, that's GG. Actually, pretty dead. Swap it over to him and get him to start tanking. It's going to be like Crit Lord only tanking this. See if he can actually manage it. I will have the uh, the boars as well, so that's something. We all know they're going to get eaten. Never mind. That was short-lived. See if the Crit Lord can solo this. If not, he's got to swap the item over to the Beastmaster, and then the Beastmaster finishes it. Looks like he's swapping the item over. Back, 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 back. Beastmaster time. This is some prime rib management. Should be enough. You can't kill this other beast. This was hard work, wasn't it? Oh, come on. <gasps> huh? That was hard work, baby. Right, rather than using the town portal, let's use a frostworm, pick up a Zeppelin. Pick up my heroes. And go back to the Fountain of Health. With my Frostworms. Frostworm hype. One more Frostworm. 100 food. Resources are fairly good. I've upgraded the damage completely. Just got to hope that they don't counter us too hard. They're attacked on both fronts. I've got to heal up a little bit after all of that. Orange might need to get back. Back, back, back. There's three of them down there. Unless they can take that on, that's not looking good to me. So don't lose too much of your army. Otherwise the game is over before it started. Right, there we go. I am revived. Get another orb. Oh, I would have done, but someone stole it from me. I could actually kill Yellow's army really easy, but unfortunately I need to be down here first as this. Here we go! Let's have some fun! I'm using the scroll of healing because I'm hearing so many fucking archers dying. Right, I haven't lost any frost ones yet. About to though. Crit Lord's about to die, so I'm teleporting him back. Still losing a couple of frost ones here and there, so I'm not sure how great we're doing. on their heroes, because it's really hard to kill their units otherwise. Ah oh, shit, he's still lost over there. I haven't got another town portal. gone to defend that and he's going to lose everything. Holy shit. And I can't help him out. That makes me feel bad. Oh yeah. That's rough going. That's rough going when people do that kind of stuff. They just make it harder for you because they throw the game away. 
Can we throw this game? Oh, so many fucking nights. Hey, where's those workshops, mate? I did say. Fuck. Why do they insist on doing that shit? I think we're just getting crushed because bad team is bad, basically. And Purple can't even build those fucking tanks that I told him to build about 10 minutes ago. Ugh, oh, what a... <sighs> what can you do when you get people like this on your team? It's just not fair. It just isn't fair. It just is not fair. It's such a waste of my potential <laughs> when I get these fuckers. They just want to lose the game, don't they? Do you know what I mean? I feel like they want to lose the game, the way they play. It's like you must realise, unless you're doing a particular strategy, like must knights, that you have to have, you're never going to win with that. Why have you got mass knights in a giant fucking map where everyone's going to go air? Why have you done that? Please tell me you have performed a strategy, because that's the only fucking logical reason you could potentially ever have. Look at these fuckers. It just isn't meant to be, is it? Right, let's get out of this piece of shit. Let's, let's move out of this game and get into a good game, because this is a pile of junk. If I knew these guys were so shit, I wouldn't have wasted the last 20 minutes. Okay. This is third time's the charm. I think it's going to be difficult to have... Well, actually, I bet, I bet I'll not say anything, okay? Otherwise, it's going to be 100% jinx. You know what you're going to get. So I'm not, I'm not even going to say a single thing regarding that. No, not going to happen. I'm going to do my bit. I'm going to play my part and just hope that everyone's got slightly more than 20 IQ. That's all I can hope for in a game like this. So, Blue Orc, Night Elf, Night Elf. That's pretty shitty. Don't mind me whilst I'm doing this, I'm just trying to get rid of crap on the mouse mat. No matter how clean I get it, it always seems to be some sort of grit there. Oh, that ghoul! No, 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 no! You've been standing there the whole time! Oh, you little shit. You little shit. Okay, fair enough. It's exhausting doing this. It really is. Okay, whatever, whatever, whatever. Shouldn't hurt me too much, but it does suck. A little bit of balls. He needs to bring him ten wood. Right, okay. Why did I get... Oh, I know why I got those acolytes, because they're going for an expansion. Hopefully. Potentially. 
I can get my tomb quite late, to be honest, because I don't really need it. It takes a while. So I suppose losing that wood earlier from the ghoul doesn't hurt me too much, because you don't really need the tomb so much anyway. It's just this cigarette needs to go up as quick as possible. Two acolytes, three acolytes, three ghouls, four ghouls, rather. Okay, two more acolytes, three more acolytes. You can still get that extra gore to get that on the bank. Two, one more acolyte, one more ghoul. Fill that up. Two more relics, still getting there. One more acolyte. Ghouls are doing great. I could cancel the ghoul and go for the tech. Let's do that. It's blue taking expansion. I don't think he is, so I'm going to take the safer one. Could get the sacrificial skull as well to secure some towers by it because we could be dealing with blade masters in this business and then back to ghouls for some more wood there's a nice shredder here now. Just make them when you can. So many things getting killed, but I still can't use the skeleton rods. There we go. Finally got there. Right, these ghouls are going to go back, and we're going to take these two ghouls to help us out alongside my summon army. So you, 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 you. You, you, you. Oh, there's the blade master, which you might expect. Okay, let's get towers set up then, if it's going to be like that. People do like harassing me. Ah, you little jammy bast. Okay, we're still gonna trap here. Woo! <laughs> Oh my god. That little fucking dance mover. And he's back over here, okay. See, what's the deal with me always getting harassed when I do this shit now? First game was so perfect. Well, that ain't gonna last long because beautifully I got my towers. I got my towers. Oh, actually, it doesn't even matter at all because I text so fast earlier that these acolytes are going to get replaced. So have some fun with that, dicko. What? Did you just see that? That impaled in nothing. He had no mana, so I could have impaled him and then surrounded him. Whoa, you are testing me this game. You are good old test of me this game. Very strong test. Fuck me, I'm gonna lose another two years of my life with this kind of stress. Well that fucker can't do shit to me anymore, so good game for him now for the next five minutes. Whilst he builds up to his bats. I can't believe that shit. So fucking shittily jammy. I'm fucking believable. Totally believable at the same time, though, because that's the kind of bullshit that always happens. Get that crit lord in there, get the 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 crit lord in there.
<laughs> no matter how many times I told those ghouls to attack my hero and then come back, they still ended up getting picked off by these little fuckers. Right, let's start getting upgrades for our frost worms. There's not much I can actually do now without putting myself in harm's way. I might be getting the Death Knight actually, second hero, because that's going to be a good support for the frost worms. And my hero. Looks like they're getting punished for all that bullshit they were doing. So maybe I can actually go harass, because it's going to be a bit safer to do so. Yep, bats, told ya. So he's just got to get lots of towers. He hasn't built up the bats yet, but he's working towards it. Not much I can do with just a crit lord versus towers and burrows. Looks like fucking workshops, which is a bit unfortunate. Oh, cancelled now though. down. It's not even worth trying to town portal him out, I don't think. I suppose I could have done, but not really that worrisome. He'll come back quick enough, even though he is level 3. Keep going with the wood, lads. Keep going with the wood. You're doing good. Oh, they're going to walk into the creeps anyway. Ha <laughs> ha! Brilliant. Creeps get fucked. Right. That's filled up. That's filled up still. So we're okay. Crit Lord is halfway through back. I'm actually going to go greedy and get the third frostworm thingy here because I can pretty much afford to do it this game. Whereas last game, not so much. Yeah, keep trying. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah, of course, of course. Get a frost worm coming. Enjoy mass frost worms versus orcs, boys! It's going to be a fun last five minutes of the game, I can fucking tell you that. After all this pain and stress that I've had for the start. There you are. Get your fat ass up. Start working. I'm gonna get, gonna get the freezing breath and then triple racks that fucking frost worm. Use, gonna use these beetles to scout. So he's going mortars more than tanks at the moment, but you can easily switch into tanks. Right? Can we get the freezing breath now, please? May as well get it now. Stand underneath the 50 food cap and then go crazy. Probably want to get an even mix of attack and armor then. Wow, those raiders. And the Huntress is kind of nice combo there. Just watch out for the bats, really. I'd say armor is actually more important now. Yeah, those bats are pumping. So you know where they're, what they're going to be doing. I need more wood to come in than it currently is. I 
I'm not doing much this game for these guys, unfortunately. Ha! But it's all over anyway. Because their attacks have just been so successful this game. So my strategy this entire game is just to fucking survive. Let's just go for it. Let's go for broke now. Triple racks, grof, uh, griffins. Triple racks, griffin, frostworms. That's what we're after. Let's give purple some fucking shit. Where's your bats? Are they all messed up at the back? My fucking turn. Although he's out of the game anyway. I don't give a shit. Get fucked. Take that, frostworm. Get healed. <laughs> I did nothing this game. I did a little bit more than it looked like. This is automatic GG, as long as we stay this stay alive this long. Because of the whole mass frostworms plummeting in now. You can't stop the frostworms. Only this supply cap can do that. Ah, oh, how stressful this has all been. This is one of those things where if I have a short first game, I feel like I should play some more, but really the first game just nails it, even if it is short. And um, this one unfortunately was like six minutes. No, the first game of this one wasn't so... Yeah, it kind of did do it though, didn't it? It's difficult to say. But look at this. If the game went on like an extra five minutes, I'll be fucking king of the mountain. With fucking five frostworms and going up to 100 food very sh shortly. Like, there's no stopping me at this point. But the game ends just when I get to the critical point. So, that's the problem with these ones as well. Can't go too many ghouls because they suck balls. That last game was pretty much the one for me. It's just they were shit, my allies, so they let me down. But I did that really well. I didn't even get... Did I get... I went Death Knight second this time, didn't I? I was supposed to get the other Summon of All Heroes. That's the thing, when it goes on so long and you keep doing it, you, you just start to like lose your will to live and stuff like that. <laughs> it drains you a lot. Trust me, this fucking drains the shit out of me. So... Yeah, it's just trying to get the perfect strat nailed, and you get let down so much in that second game. That was it. That was the one that was supposed to happen in. And then I got fucked over on that, and I end up making mistakes in the third one. That's just the way it goes. But either way, there's your fucking Crit Lord and Frostworm, so thanks.